my name's Jake. Jake Sanders. This is Tamar Korn. We are in the Cangelosi Cards. Um, we put the group together a number of years ago. We play old time jazz, swing. We're both from the States. I'm from Wisconsin originally. Tamar's from California. And uh, we met in New York some years ago, and that's where the band is based. Out of Brooklyn, play a lot in Manhattan, Brooklyn. And now we're in China at the present moment. club this is a function of what they do they bring bands over from the states usually three months at a time and they bring some jazz outfits and also a lot of blues rock bands and um, 
they had asked one of the previous bands for some suggestions on a group that might play more traditional music, uh, you know, in the vein that we're doing, traditional blues or, or Dixieland. I think they were originally looking for a Dixieland band. You guys speak Chinese? Uh, Tamar can speak a little bit. I've uh, been a poor student since I arrived. <laughs> I've been a poor student too, but I enjoyed trying. It's, it's, I mean, I know maybe five, five to eight words or phrases, but it's fun to try because they're tonal. So, kind of like singing. Um, it was a bit of a blur, to be quite honest. When we arrived, we played in New York. We got on a plane um, just a few hours after our last show in the city. And when we arrived, it was the last night for the previous band, which was much more like a rock and soul and funk outfit. And we arrived... Um, blues. And blues, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. They played the blues. It's a good group. And um, we arrived on their farewell party. And so we got out, we were picked up at the airport, dropped at our hotel, took a quick shower, and then we came to the club and there was a big party going on and they asked us to play a few numbers in the midst of all that. So that all happened r rather quickly and then we were pretty much just quickly getting organized to, to get the show together. And then it wasn't until being here for about a week till the fact that we were in China kind of really hit me, you know, walking around on the street and you know when you're traveling you're doing what you do everywhere sometimes you know you're just kind of concerned with the same things you are in any town you know trying to get everyone here and uh, get the sound right and get the get the show happening so and then there's like the fact of going through the streets was really kind of shocking because things are coming from every which way like you guys know now where you almost get hit every two seconds by either a bike or a car and we both got bicycles, so that's kind of been adjusting us in an interesting way. I, I mean, we don't go biking together that often, but um, that's been an interesting way to adjust to the city and try not to get hurt um, in the process. I guess the local community that's enjoyed the music, you know, it's similar. You know, maybe some of it's new to them, but you find that this music sounds new to people sometimes in the States, too, oh, yeah. you know, uh, because it's faded somewhat, you know, from... Uh, the common stream. So I would say in a lot of respects our reception here has been similar to other places. Obviously when we're playing on the dance circuit everyone knows what we're gonna what to expect and and uh, you know they're familiar but anytime we're playing outside of that there's always varying degrees of people who are really familiar with this music and refreshed to hear it or people who feel like they've never heard anything quite like it in person and, and are excited about that and you know Every once, you know, everywhere you go, there's people who maybe would rather hear something else too. But that's kind of been the same. That's the same everywhere, you know. So the club has been good, and the audiences have been great. You know, the city is a bit shocking. I mean, you're from, we're from, you know, we're living in New York a decade and working there, and we think of that as a big city, but it's not booming quite the same way that Shanghai is in terms of how much is being built and torn down around every corner and you know you look up in the skyline and it looks like the future and then you look on the street and it looks like the middle ages you know I mean you can't there's just so much going on at once here and um, it's really bustling in a way that New York has been at times but I mean even in the last you know, before the recent economic failures, you know, New York was getting built up quite a bit as well, but nothing quite like it is here. I mean, and I guess the rhythm and uh, the rhythm and the way they go about things is very much kind of like, you know, like for example, like construction will be happening on a block and they don't, they don't block off the construction site. You can walk right through if you want or not if you want. I mean, that's very different from the states. Everything's kind of hands off. And they'll get done and they'll just leave a pile of bricks sitting there till the next day. And I've seen a pile of piles of bricks moving around on the sidewalks, you know, every which way. There's no rhyme or reason to what's going on. I kind of like it, you know, because, you know, everyone just kind of does what they need to do. The thing that was shocking to me is the adult playgrounds. I've never seen that anywhere 
but they have all these exercise machines out at the parks and everything and everyone works out and does their thing it's like that's what they are it's like play structures for grown people and i never see anything quite like that they're you know that's they're unique you know i i think that's my favorite thing about the city i i think it's awesome how people are i mean people are doing tai chi in the parks and part of the Tai Chi is sometimes kind of uh, um, ramming your back into a tree or walking backwards um, just to kind of get the, the energy going and all the sorts of exercises that people do I think make a lot of sense and I relate to but whenever I feel like doing that in the parks or wherever in public in in the States, I feel very timid and I make sure I find a very private place or when I'm alone. But here, everyone is like, live and let live and it makes sense to everyone else and those, ad you call them adult playgrounds. I mean, I know they're just exercise machines without resistance that are brightly colored like a kid's playground, but they're all sort of based on these fluid motions so they look much more playful than uh, Jim's exercise machines that are very like, uh, they're, they're rigid comparatively. Uh, all the parts of all the kinds of animals that are eaten is really different than anything I've experienced and I, when I, I, I like best when I go to dinner with Shanghainese people who know, who like can tell me what I'm eating and you're in a group of people that all can eat together and so that's I've had some good experiences having foods that I've never had I love this surprises me and I think it's great bamboo you can eat bamboo and it tastes great it's just steamed a few times you guys have had it before I didn't know that and I just think that's amazing that you can eat the bark the meat of the tree um, that's surprising a good surprise wow. A lot of great musicians and have been coming through to play the opening ceremonies and so a, a handful of, of players have come by here um, to listen and then we see their instruments so we ask them to play and there were some great horn players from Austria and then there was a whole choir from South Africa that came and then sang and then we all played together and it was, I mean, really elating. They were remarkable. They were great. I mean, all the musicians have been great and that was, it was just really refreshing to me. We're enjoying our time. We're gonna be happy when we get back to Brooklyn and back to New York too and get busy there. and. We're not here with our whole band, as you know, you know, we had to leave a few of our guys behind for various reasons, but um, we'll be excited to meet up with them and just get back to it. Keep it going. Yeah. Keep playing.